Ciao guys, time food here, so Skyrim VR is out and as every Bethesda game we want to install some mods so let's see together how to do it but before, thank you so much for watching if you're new from the channel, feel free to check out all the other videos in the channel and if you like what you see and want to keep being updated about VR and tech in general just click or tap the subscribe button so you don't miss anything that'd be super appreciated, we'll help a lot the channel but let's go back in topic and let's see together how to enable the mods on Skyrim VR right now Okay, here we are in the computer to see how to install the mods. So first of all, we have to go to the ini file for Skyrim VR and modify a little because the Nexus mod is not going to recognize it for sure. So what we have to do is we go over here in document, my games and Skyrim VR and we go on a breath, the ini and over here we have to add this. I'm gonna leave everything in the description below so you can just copy and paste over here anyways B enable file selection one. So when it, this is done we just save it and close this part and the first step is gone. Then what you can, we can do to make everything easier would be to install the Nexus mod. So we go on nexusmod.com and we can install here uh, the Nexus mod. I already installed it, so let's go over it together. So Nexus mod manager. And so what we have to do over here will be to scan the install game again. So it's gonna start, we stop the searching, and over here we're gonna have to go on special edition and look for our Skyrim VR. So on D, in my case, Steam library, common, and then we go on Skyrim V ah we go on Skyrim VR over here and we just use the first we click OK and it's not gonna find the exe we just press OK anyway over here let's press the key, uh, tick and let's press yes so we give the OK and that's done and then we're gonna be able to open the manager over here. So what we can do at this point is to look for the mods that we want. Um, I just have an example here fast. Um, not that not like to use cheats, but just because to have an, something to show in our uh, inventory during the game. So over here, like a per point book, and we click on the mod manager download. It's gonna ask you to open the mod manager through the Nexus mod and it's gonna download it automatically. At this point, we're gonna find it in the part that we want and we just double click to enable and we're gonna have the tick over there and we're pretty much good to go. Actually, I forgot something and what we have to do, like, like we were doing in a Fallout VR, we have to go a little in app data. So what we have to do is go on C, view and tick on hidden items because it's going to be hidden for that so we have to go on user our user go nap data that is the hidden one then go local and look for our skyrim vr okay so over here it's going to have skyrim special edition and when I'm, we have the uh, mod installed this is going to appear what we have to do is just control c so copy and and paste it here in the, um, in the folder for Skyrim VR. As you can see, we have the mods over there installed and with that, with Skyrim VR ESM is already done. So at that point, what we have to do is just to start the game and see if it works or not. So let's do it together and let's see if it works. Super, super easy. Here we are, we have the vibe and it's gonna start. I already started the game. Uh, let me take the volume out here. Um, I already started the game and I have to say that it's awesome. It's like already so much better than Fallout VR. So here we are in the game. Let me load uh, one random save when we got out from the dragon. As you can see now mods are currently loaded so we already have our first uh, confirmation 
So wish to continue? Yes, we continue. At that point, of course, with the mods, we're not gonna be able to unlock achievement anymore. But um, that's a trade-off, of course, for if we want install mods or not. So here we are in Skyrim VR, and let's see right now if we have something in the inventory or not. So let's go on item, and we go down on books, and we should have the ancient text. And with that, of course, we can put like more perks and stuff and take levels. So it works. So I don't know, many are gonna work right now. For sure, there's gonna be an update, but it's just awesome that we can already install mods, even if not supported on Skyrim VR right now. And that's pretty, pretty awesome. So we can use a lot of mods that are out from around 10 years right now to make our experience in Skyrim VR even better and paying full price for it, it's the minimum. Like we want to have this game completely unlocked like it should be. Anyway guys, I'm gonna follow up with a video with the best mod to install in VR for sure. So crash that subscribe button so you're gonna be able to see it right when it's out. And thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Let me know in the comment below what you think about it and if you're gonna do it, if you have any suggestion for mods to add. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. See you guys in the next video. Ciao!